doing the maybe Aristotelian on some that industry. So the main thing is I work on the this one. Tendia company is uh, some about the, some software development and data implement, data in, uh, data implement, and Linux system and they uh, we develop the uh, data compression and denoising and dynamic visibility. So that this one will use uh, some kind of uh, some image processing technique. Also right now is. Uh, uh, working on the institute, institute of Master in Korea, so uh, they developed uh, some HCS high content screening technique using uh, some uh, image processing technique. So they developed a new medicine. Okay. So maybe I, I should just uh, uh, some show the some uh, maybe uh, pictures, maybe not some mathematics. Maybe if we want, then I show later. Okay. So. You know the data is right? So usually, if you go to the data office, you take uh, some CT imaging. That is some, some uh, what series of 2D uh, pictures like this. But you can see this one is the, it's okay, but you can see because of, because of the uh, metal, so there is some hyperation. So this one is, if you uh, see the doctor, this one, See, but we don't know what's going on in here, right? Also here. So in the CT, usually this series, they uh, make uh, some 3D image. But if we have this one, then we cannot make a 3D image. So we have to remove the, this kind of things, using some image, image, image processing technique. So initially, uh, this one is, uh, yeah, so this is the 10 dr company is four years ago. So we try to remove that kind of thing. So with uh, UCLA dental uh, professor and also with uh, with the technician and move. But we make a progress like this. Uh, so this one you can see the some, some directional noise, but we can remove it. Okay, so you can see clear. Also, this one is some implant metal, but there's just some noise we can remove it. So you can see here and here. So there is using some RISS technique, so relaxed in most case space technique. So this is original data, there is some hydration like this. So directional noise, then we can get this one. So this is uh, better than this one. So make us some 3D reconstruction. So uh, using uh, uh, that technique, so just the 3D reconstruction using original image is this one. So after noise removal, you can see this one. There is just some this, okay? something. So then this one is make a 3D image. Okay. So this is original, this is remove the noise. So maybe you can see there's some difference. But this one is no metal yeah, effect, so no hydration like this uh, we saw in the picture. So but this one is okay. But we actually studied for like, two years and developed some yeah, PD technique. Uh, to remove the noise, it worked for the, some problems, but finally we noticed that we cannot remove something, but we cannot remove everything. So here you can see this is original image. Usually we use uh, some just general tech, general filter, is median seven filter, median five filter, and just uh, adaptive median filter. You can remove a little bit. So our new method is removal. The result is like this. But some uh, doctor told us that uh, this is the uh, best result compared to other one. But still, in the industry, uh, doesn't work. But uh, doesn't like it because of the still, they don't know what's going on here. So actually. We started the ID research two years after two two years.
anyway, so, so we just uh, uh, start to develop the, yeah, this system <laughs> because of, we cannot develop anymore. So maybe uh, somebody, yeah, study more and maybe uh, not the software technique, maybe hardware technique, maybe you can remove the, that kind of things, I think. So, uh, you know that the, the university in the society, the UCLA Mesh Department is one of the best in the uh, uh, world, but we cannot do anything. So, just this is the best uh, result we can get. So that's the, we applied the industry, but we cannot get results. So this is the, yeah, this is the, yeah, one result we cannot, uh, just uh, we paid, okay? So we cannot, yeah, recover use our mathematical, yeah, our model or mathematical, some techniques. So the other one is, uh, this one is actually, some uh, projects uh, are given by NGA, uh, National uh, 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 Geospatial Intelligence Agency. So they need uh, some compression tech. Uh, they need uh, some uh, uh, compression techniques. Usually we have uh, JPEG 2000 or JPEG. It's a really good compression technique. But because they have uh, some 3D image, that's a lot. So. Also, the problem for JPEG 2000 is if you uh, compress and decompress, they cannot uh, keep the, some height because 3D image is just uh, we need uh, some height. So uh, they uh, gave us some project to uh, develop the uh, so compression techniques. So this is one of the some, uh, technique inside in the uh, compression. So if you have original image, then you, you can divide sketch, uh, sketch part and texture part, then using some compression, and then just decompress, you can get. So here is one, uh, maybe not this one. Yeah, I should read this one. Yeah, uh, okay, this one. So if you have a data here, then just the compression ratio is 5 to 1, this is JPEG uh, compression. This is a uh, uh, compression we developed using uh, this, uh, uh, the compression technique inside, they have uh, some level and method and some image, yeah, image, yeah, a texture expression uh, technique inside. Then the compression ratio is uh, 16 to 1. It's maybe uh, three times more than compressed this one, but the compressed, Decoding, then is the result is almost similar to this one. So they like it, this one, because of the, why we need compression? More? So NGA take a picture, you see, this is level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. So level one is um, in the each ground and height. They have uh, some, the start in the 90, uh, uh, 90 meter uh, space, they have uh, some data collection in the uh, 90 meter difference. This one is 30 meter, this is 10 meter, this is 3 meter, this is 1 meter. So right now I think yeah, Rebe 3, usually we can get a, a data in Rebe 3 data. So that means, that means the 10 meter spacing. So but if we go to Rebe 4, this one is what? 3 times, maybe in 3 dimensional, 3 times, uh, 3 times, uh, 3 times, maybe. 27 times more data than this one. Yeah, this one is 1,000 times data, uh, more data than this one, okay? So what's the difference? So this is actually in the picture is Manhattan. So this one, you cannot see anything. You, you can see something, but you can see yeah, a lot of yeah, details. So this is the data from the satellite. This is some part in the maybe Afghanistan or somewhere. This is a level two data here. This is level five. This is a one meter space data. So you can see maybe some here, this one, uh, I think some here. So you can see some buildings here and something. So you can find it. Okay. 
Okay. So we need uh, this kind of data. So data is uh, less. We need a uh, uh, nearly yeah, uh, more complex ratio yeah, compression. That's why they gave us uh, some project to develop the compression. So uh, then the other one is dynamic visibility. That is the just uh, this is some security yeah our problem. So if some yeah this is you can say red is a positive trajectory, green is a evade trajectory. So if some yeah, or rubber is uh, this is some building by some by some but some rubber is going through this way, then if a policeman is follow this one, okay so how we can yeah, uh, trace this uh, the rubber without missing him. So that's uh, some visibility optimization technique. So you can see here. So pursuit is uh, the uh, evade trajectory like this. Then pursuit is uh, just following this one. So what the, this one is a visibility region actually. So if this one, this uh, evader is going this way, then this one should be going like that. Then the red one is see all the blue ones, uh, uh, just like that. Okay. So this is the uh, application, not this one. Usually in the mountain area, uh, the airplane is going through and such that some people was some area. So usually because of the, there is a yeah, uh, some hidden place in the mountain, so you cannot see. So what's the optimal optimal just uh, trajectory? So that's the we developed this kind of things. So this is really some uh, military applications. So this is also using some. Uh, level set and some optimizing techniques. But this one is, I just skip it. Oh, this is Korean. <laughs> <laughs> because we yeah, are still to make a project this time. But this is just a, what is this? A new, new medicine development process, anyways. <laughs> so there is a high content screening. So just uh, in the uh, Institute of Pasta in Korea, they have uh, some less mania project because it, this one is actually is not in the uh, is America or some Europe or Asia. Usually, in the, this one is in the Africa or some is a poor country, so they cannot develop the uh, the medicine for this one. So that's why some uh, kind of some institute instead of uh, Institute of Pasta developed the, this one. Uh, so funded by the government, okay? So then we develop this kind of thing. Then we have to screening some cell image. So so technically like this. If we have a uh, cell image and then take imaging using a uh, microscopy, then you can have a lot of data. So actually, this is uh, more than giga data. So Usually one day they have maybe a teradata actually come out. Then you have screening. So by this, uh, you have to develop the automatic screening techniques. So the visual target analysis. So you need to develop the, some image processing techniques, so uh, segmentation and some tracking. So they. Right now, I think uh, the Institute Pasteur is the one of the leading the institute for developing HCS right now. So uh, my two students is working on this one in the Institute Pasteur. Uh, Pasteur. Okay. Also, so the other one is in the uh, just. Uh, uh, give the, some drug to the uh, fruit fly and the change of the wings, hairs. This is normal hair, this one is mutant hair. So how to uh, detect this one automatically? That's the uh, 
it's not the easy problem. So this one is also using uh, some uh, So you can see the some image process technique, just so focus image and projection, and then Gaussian blur or segmentation, and you can see classification. So this is a yeah, good or bad. So all this one is using uh, some numerical uh, PD-based uh, uh, numerical image segment uh, image techniques actually. So the, uh, the one is the uh, base one is one position functional and chain based models. That was global minimization. And uh, case based uh, method and most case based method. I already showed some pictures of this one. So we need uh, some iterative uh, regularization. So our uh, next thing was case based method. Uh, I think, yeah. So that's uh, just everything I show you. So, okay, thank you.